Hello there, this has been Fornir of Benevolent Cytochorum, going to continue Soul Survivor's campaign of Lasagias, I guess. Uh, and here's the reading material if anyone wants to. I really do like this game. It doesn't... It seems like it doesn't play as pass. Oh, did I get the right spelling on that? I don't think I did. Ridge Pass. I might need to go and adjust the title on something. Anyway, though. Downhill Battle is the one that we're on now. And I'm just going to play it on normal. The other one seemed to work out fairly better than I thought. It might... I don't know. I guess... I'm going to try this one. Dr. Victor Yurovic. Okay, well, so far I've been playing with the alien thing here, but yeah, let's try with the weird doctor guy, I guess. Uh, just to switch it up a little. He has inhibitors as well, so that's at least partially good. Oh my word, what is this crap? Alrighty, uh, let's zoom out. Come on, zoom out. It's not acting right. Oh my word, there's four... And they all go at different ways. Oh my word, this is not going to go well. Alright, so, this is when I lose. Oh my word, I may not do so well here. Great, 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 great. I am rather unthrilled about this setup, actually. But, we shall see, I guess. When you can't focus on them, it's really bad, and this is the setup we have. <sighs> joy, joy, joy. Here we go. So much joy. Yeah, you go. Let's hope the radiation stuff actually works fairly well. I do not see it as probable, but here's hoping. Ah, the joy. Yeah, maybe. stuff over here. Oh crap, they are getting through. Nope, 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 nope. Oh joy. Yeah, this is not my favorite one already. It is funny, the Geiger counter sounds so... Oh my word. Chill. Just chill already. Annoying things. Stop existing. Oh my word. Okay, yeah, let's get some more of these Geiger counter things. Well, not the Geiger counting yet is a thing but like you know extra crispy the radiation of doom doomliness is good for bugs oh good we have flamethrowers as an option those are always nice not to be in front of but they do have a cool effect though in namely making the bugs extra crispy Please, no more bugs. I pray that to God every single day. Especially every day of summer. Because I would like no more bugs. That would be the nice. That would be very, very nice. To not have to deal with bugs. Ever. Ah, the joy. 
sorry, this is, uh, I know there's a frame rate glitch, I just don't have that many options as to what I can do here. So I have to be, you know, head on a swivel kind of thing, because it's easy to lose, this kind of thing. At least they have what seems to be a fairly good uh, assortment of bad guys early on, so it's not as impossible as it could be but you know that's going to ramp up but hopefully that ramps up with the amount of stuff we can can build based on the points we get from uh, getting them from this world uh, however it may say be said best in a way that's not going to be wrong think for the censors of YouTube <sighs> you know I, I like the idea of Mel Brooks' attitude towards things, but, there, you know, it's interesting, like, it's kind of like a build it up to knock it down later thing, too. Like, even Monty Python had some fairly funny humor, fairly bad jokes, too, and then you have, like, the early 2000s where they really tried to be deliberately offensive, like, you know, I, I like some of C-Lab and Red vs. Blue, but... It is pretty bad at some points too, though, so that's kind of depressing in its own way. You know, it's like, I, I don't throw the baby out with the bathwater kind of deal, but, you know, Overton Windows versus, versus Pharisaical Fences. Th there should be a middle ground between saying, you know, I draw the line here this far, no farther, like Picard, but then there's also, you know, people drawing lines way too close kind of thing too. But, yeah, it's a joy. Uh, you know, you don't want to be a Pharisee and whine about everything in a stupid way, and yet you don't also want to promote things that are bad, too, because, you know, bad is bad, even if it's socially acceptable for a time before it's not another time. Ah, uh, the joy. Are those actually unable to build there, or what is the deal here? It's just a single line? Wow, that's lame. Oh, have I lost a, anyone yet? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? No, that's okay. And yeah, that, that movie's kind of bad in parts too, but mostly good and funny, but... You know, that's just how things go, it seems. Like, you have some things that are good, some things that are, like, really not so good, but... You complain about them, and then everyone that likes them mocks you, or just they'll mock you just because they can mock you. You've given them any emotion to be like, haha, they're emotional, therefore they're wrong. It's like, okay then. But that's sort of like how uh, types with TI and FE and Ego tend to be, too, because they have overshadowed FI. They, they're either critical or disregarding of their own emotions, so when they see others being emotional, uh, they'll mock them for being emotional kind of thing. Or otherwise disregard it. Oh crap, we're getting through. Uh, they're getting through. Go, no existing for you. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Wow, that was close. Too close. Oh my word, stop. So we need more stuff there, not less. And apparently it was anti-air we needed there. Oh my word. That was a little close. I barely noticed that. That's scary. Oh my word. Sorry about moving this too much. I wish I had a computer that didn't have that frame rate glitch. I really do. Ah. Oh well. Anyway, onward to hoping things work out anyway. Thanks to anyone watching, I appreciate it. I'm sorry that it's not perfect. I wish it were. I especially like, you know, I, I know like Starship Trippers, the movie, uh, movies have some bad stuff. I, I really like the series, like the Roughneck series. And even the movies were mostly good, despite like the stupid shower stuff and whatever, but either way, it's like, you know, there, there's a, there may be a few things bad about those, but they're still mostly fairly good. And that's just... I don't know. It, it's sad to have only things made by the secular world that are actually 
good in terms of like production value. Like, I mean, Left Behind was okay, and there's a few others that Churchians recommend just because they're made by Churchians. But it's still like, yeah, this is crap. So, and I know my own writings are crap still for now as well, so I'm not trying to be like, oh, look at this. It's, but no, yeah. yeah I know, it's like, you know, it, but a ton of things are about investment more than anything else, and hiring people that actually know what they're doing. TBN did do that, although they're kind of money worshipy though. But like the Omega Code, that was actually a pretty good one. Also with that Johnny Rico dude, I guess. But not really caring about Casper Van Dien. But he is a good actor. Uh, better than James Cameron. Uh, but uh, you know, they they tried. They really tried to make good production value stuff. And yet, yeah, sometimes it still falls flat just because it's like, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's sad that like swearing and whatnot make you seem more honest and otherwise, you know, there's, it's like having to include the, the corruption of a time to showcase the time while still not showing it in a way that glorifies it type of deal or otherwise makes it into something that it shouldn't be. Uh, I don't know. There has to be some way to do things right, regardless of however stupid they might seem. Because, you know, we can't just all be workers that produce money for building funds. There has to be some way to take back some of the fields that were pretty much only allowed to be one side for now. You know, like all these platforms that only allow the uh, one voice to be heard. Yeah, to some degree it's like that should be dealt with by legislation because the forms of right violation should be illegal, obviously. It shouldn't just be, oh, businesses are free to do anything because if we put regulations on them, it's communism. It's like, no, how about you stop people from violating natural rights of individuals regardless of whether it's communism or not to say hey don't violate rights oh just because your business doesn't mean you're above the state I mean you, know, you have antitrust laws and they're insufficient obviously you need to actually stop things from getting bad before they're worse and yet too many things are justified by stupid rules and stupid ways otherwise. And everyone gets away with stuff if they're just rich enough to. But that is normal. It's just laws only exist for the poor after a point because anyone has enough money they can hire the proper theatrical liars to spam the courts with the right forms and wordage whatever they want but so far as artsy fartsy stuff goes there should be like more Christian artists that actually do things there should be more writers there should be more creatives generally and not just let it be relegated to the world only and not in stupid ways that's just like here's our church play production it's like yeah, let's not do that. I mean, my writing, I know it's bad. I'm going to keep saying this. I hate how bad my writing is. Others can do better. They should do better. Please, go ahead. Do it. Oh, my word. That, yeah, i got to focus on this. Sometimes it helps to talk to focus on things somehow. Like in the laser tops, when I'm talking, I can more easily see what I'm doing because I just do it automatically. Whereas when I'm trying to focus on something, it doesn't always work right. I don't know how that goes, why that works like that particularly, but it seems to. But yeah, this is like Bob Ross at this point. A little here, a little there, a happy little turret here, a happy little laser there. Oh well, they need more lasers. And flamethrowers. I love flamethrowers. Not not in real warfare though. They look cooler as just an effect, you know? 
having anyone actually in front of them is horrific and evil, but... I mean, yeah, of course you can justify things by having enemies declared evil, and of course that's how propaganda ministries work, is to make enemies that are evil enough to uh, destroy them by any means whatsoever, and the more sadistic the means, the better kind of thing. That's how it's played out, not that I approve of it. I hope I can be clear on that, because I'm not justifying that kind of behavior. You know, these things will pass away, and, you know, I, I like flamethrowers in that they're the closest to plasma weapons humanity has made so far. I don't like that their effect is horrific and whatnot, but they're still cool looking. You know, throwing a stream of fire, that is, that's what they do, and it's kind of cool looking. It's like, uh, still kind of sad, of course, for actual warfare, but... Ah, whatever though. You can say anything and everyone will always take what you say out of context or otherwise flip it to make it sound worse than it is. But especially when they're looking for ways to call you evil or mock you. And, you know, it's like that Snow White actress. I get she said some stupid stuff, but guess what? It's that she's trained to think that way. That's the fault of the public school system and the other things that indoctrinate everyone according to that and the employers that hire them because that's what they want until they make a bad show and then they're like, oh, we don't stand behind this person that we hired specifically for these reasons. It's like, oh, interesting how quickly you turn on them, right? They destroy their own as soon as they're no longer valuable because money is what's worshipped at the end of the day. But... Sometimes they're true believers and stand behind the puppets that they adore, but other times they'll just do whatever they feel like anyway. But oh well. But yeah, there should be more Christians that write things that are cool. There should be more science fiction. There should be more... You know, cool special effects. There should be like a version of Expanse, but without the Game of Thrones type garbage thrown in. I mean, it isn't even that bad for it. The actual Expanse, like the, the cringy content that's similar is not as bad as it could be. But, I mean, it's Overton Window Gray there, of course. Still, though, it it's a better show than the medieval fantasy weirdness thing. That others like, I get others like it. I don't like fantasy. I, I, I like sci-fi. I know sci-fi can be considered a part of fantasy, and yet, not really. I mean, like, yeah, it, it's like, do you use magic or do you use technical stuff? And I like technical stuff, because at least they have a chance of existing in reality somewhat. Even if it's just an imaginary reality of hopefulness. Whereas all the magic stuff is going to be pretty much nope. It's like, hey, it sounds cool, but, uh, yeah, let's see all that happen. No, wait, no, that's not, because, well, I think, you know, demons are real, but you don't want to have anything to do with them, you know? That's how to mess up your life, uh, even more than, than uh, addictive substances and gambling. But, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, do you like having your cabinets open and everything you have destroyed at random? How about no? It's like, nope, nope, nope. Anyway, yeah. But, yeah, all that fantasy stuff and all the... It, it just doesn't appeal to me. I, I like lasers, not magic wands. And, you know, electro lasers are a thing that could actually be done. You have a high enough watch laser, you make an ionization plasma channel, and then you send some voltage downrange. Preferably a ton of voltage. And you make your enemies extra crispy in a shocking way. Oh my word. Chill with the existing new things. Stop. I need to put more on this side, I guess. Or, oh, that's it. Cool. Yay, I actually won on the first turn and didn't lose any of the civilians. Yay. My word, that... That seemed a little crazier than it could have been just because there's not really a main choke point, but we got it. And thanks to anyone that watched and listened to my ranting and stuff and didn't dislike or downvote or all the other crap. 
So that was downhill battle on uh, normal difficulty with um, the weird doctor guy, Victor something. Anyway, excuse me. Uh, take care everyone and try not to go crazy. <laughs>